Throughout the academic school year of 2021 to 2022, there were numerous COVID-19 restrictions placed on the Wilfrid Laurier University campus. This included no in-person programming, capacity limits, and social distancing. Specifically, the Department of Residence had very specific restrictions that caused many issues in relation to breaking COVID-19 policies. This past school year, I was a Don working for the Department of Residence for the first time. As a Don, I took on additional responsibilities as a co-advisor of the Athletic and Wellness Council with the first year leadership program of Laurier. It was my very first time as I had never done the role before, nor had I worked with the Department of Residence. As part of the co-advisor responsibilities, a large focus of the role was organizing the first year intramural league known as league play. My name is Kaylee Drysdale and this presentation analyzes my leadership experience of organizing the first year intramural league during the COVID-19 pandemic. There were three co-advisors and our responsibility was to organize and administer league play while facilitating the first year council. The first year council included one rep residence representative from each residential community. During the school year, our council met Tuesday at 10 p.m. via Zoom until March 2022 when we were able to begin meeting in person. Our main source of communication was through the app Slack where we would post reminders and important information regularly. League play ran every Thursday from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the main gym of the Athletic Center on campus. Each term represented a separate league with the winter term beginning from the start again. My co-advisors and I worked closely with the Department of Athletics and Recreation on campus due to the collaboration of departments, including residents and uh, athletics and recreation. Specifically in the Department of Athletics and Recreation, we worked with the supervisor of intramurals and the intramural convener of league play. To understand the general process of how league play, play progressed, I used the KPSD model to outline the process of the leadership development in the context of planning league play. The KPSD model outlines the process of the path from novice to expert. It is important to note that this process does not entail only one singular way to achieve this, but an individual may go through their own path of leadership development. The arrows here illustrate the multiple directions that an individual may take. For this example, I will go through this process in a clockwise order. To begin, the transition from no to see. During the summer leading up to 2021 to 2022 academic year, we held multiple meetings via Zoom with our supervisor to ensure we understood the expectations of our responsibilities. It was crucial we obtained declarative knowledge of league play before planning and including the larger council in the planning process. In our team, our intramural convener had held the co-advisor position of AUK before, which was beneficial towards understanding of the process and how the night was actually gonna go. As well, one of my co-advisors was an AUK representative when she was in first year, which was also constructive feedback while organizing league play. Once we had learned the declarative, declarative knowledge, we began focusing on the procedural and conditional knowledge, including the when, why, and how the process began. Next, we have the C to plan. Once we advisors understood the overall process thoroughly, we began to delegate responsibilities to council members. The idea was that the council would become competent in what needed to be done and therefore would know how to develop a plan of action on what they had been seeing. After is the plan to do. At this point, the council understood the overall process and was able to input their own ideas and intervene skillfully on a course of action. The council representatives learned through experience and gained knowledge through repetition. Moving forward to the leadership style and characteristics. Due to the nature of COVID-19 restrictions, at the beginning of the school year, our approach of leadership was an authoritative style. It was important that us co-advisors were assertive with how everything was going to go. We need to implement a clear vision to ensure everyone was on the same page until everyone became comfortable. As the term progressed, our leadership style became uh, combined with a democratic style 
of leadership with the existing authoritative style. We wanted to foster a feeling of belonging and highlight their importance to the council. This opportunity allowed council reps to share their own ideas and opinions while implementing league play. It was important to us that the council would develop into leaders to hopefully take on more leadership. While working with the council, we set clear expectations of their responsibilities as a council representative. For example, attending meetings, coming to league play, and responding to messages on an, in an appropriate time. As well, it was crucial that the first year student body that was participating in league play understood the overall expectations of participating. For example, following the COVID-19 protocols, filling out the waiver, and being respectful. As well as co-advisors had expectations of ourselves to document incident reports and ensure that the night of league play runs smoothly. To continue, while facilitating any aspect of our council, we constantly prioritize relationships, including relationships with individual council members, league play participants, referees, coaches, et cetera. We wanted a strong, cohesive working environment and understood that prioritizing relationships will improve the betterment of the entire event. While planning and collaborating with the other co-advisors, we discussed what we wanted to achieve during our time with our council before we facilitated interviews. It was important to all of us that we shared the same values to envision the same goals. One of the most important values that we shared was creating a welcoming community between the council members and us, also known as affiliation. League play was the only, sorry, we wanted to work with the council and curate a sense of belonging for each member. The most impactful value of planning our event was social impact. League play was the only in-person event for first year programming until March when COVID-19 restrictions were being lifted. At this point of the pandemic, this event was a huge contribution to the well-being of Wilfrid Laurier's society, especially for first years. This event fostered and encouraged Laurier's strong sense of community by hosting the only in-person first year event for the first six months of school. Another value that we highlighted was lifelong learning. This value was not only for the council members, but also for ourselves. Throughout this process, we had access to career advancing training, experience and mentors that helped us become the best advisors we could be. While organizing a grand scale event, that included hundreds of participants, we gained lots of experience with administrative work that can be carried over to different opportunities. The last value mentioned here is managing people. There was an opportunity to direct others and have a leadership role in context of our council members and as well as the participants of League Play. This was a value to us because it was crucial that we direct others in the appropriate way in that specific situation. We wanted to manage people in a directive way, not in a bossy way. To summarize, my experience as a co-advisor for the Athletic and Wellness Council was an impactful leadership experience for my development. Move forward from this experience, there is an opportunity to change the way meetings are organized and held. Traditionally, pre-pandemic, the beginning stages of organizational leadership were all in person. What we have learned from the pandemic and my experiences is that a hybrid model of online and in-person planning with fellow leaders might offer more flexibility and opportunities for individuals to lead. Thank you for listening and have a good day.